Hello, everybody. It's Jordan again with Crick Expressions Craft Studio. And I'm finally getting around to making some of these inexpensive file folders that you get from back to school section of Walmart and probably a lot of other places. And I'm turning them into dividers for my various craft supplies. Today, the ones I'm making are for my stamps and dies, but that are um, in envelopes or pouches and not the wooden block ones. And uh, basically what I've done is I've just taken some folders like this. I've cut the front and the back off and I've even saved these little pieces flaps here because I'm going to use those for stencils to cut my own stencils. And um, I've got some of those ready. So I've already cut some, but these are what they look like after I cut them apart. And I just use my guillotine cutter to cut them apart. Um, I mean, you could use scissors. You might even be able to use uh, a different paper trimmer, but because these are plastic, roughly four mil, I don't know exactly what they are. Um, I don't know how well that would work, but my guillotine trimmer worked, or cutter worked really well. So here's the, the ones I have left to do. And here are some that I've already done. Now I played a little bit with my sizing. I thought I had it figured out what I wanted to do. And I ended up making this first one too wide and too short. Um, actually, that wasn't the first one. The blue one was the first one. So it's a little too wide. I'm going to have to trim it down a little bit. A little too short. But I thought if I put it in the front, it'll be okay. I'll be able to see it. Um, and... You can just flip them so they go back and forth by just flipping. Oh, that's not right. By just flipping the side of the folder. And I've got labels I may use to label them, or I may just use one of my metallic marker pens. I haven't decided yet. My handwriting's not the best, but I can at least read it, and that would be faster. So, uh, however, labels are easily removed and can be then they can be reused so I, I'm undecided about how I'm going to label them but I will label them and I am going to share the link to my Cricut design space for this file if anybody's interested um, if you're not I mean they have plenty of file folders out there you can go and get your own um, but these are what's working for me And what they'll be doing is going between the stamps and die envelopes. And these are the larger of the two sets that I have. And so I just wanted them tall enough that they would poke out above the top and wide enough that they fit easily in the bin. So what I need to do first is grab a mat. And I'm using an old mat, so um, I'm using tape because I don't want it to lift up off of the mat while it's cutting. But if you're using a newer mat, and actually a newer mat would be perfect for these because they're plastic, they're not going to tear like paper might, um, you would probably not need to use any additional tape. This is just my precaution because this mat is very old. It's... Uh, I've had it for a long time. And for some stuff, it still works as long as I remember to tape it down. Tape's getting all wrinkled where it's been peeled up. So I've already got the design space open and ready to go. I'm just going to put this in the Cricut and let it cut. Now I've got this set under the plastic setting. It's on custom. Custom. Uh, this I'm just using the Cricut Explorer. So the dial set to custom. So I've got my pink fingers, my ink for my printer. Um, set your dial to custom. I selected under plastic um, four millimeter stencil material. And I set mine to cut twice because I want to be sure it went through, even though I'm using the deep cut blade. It really only needs to go around once because it is um, cutting it rather easily one time around. So 
So I'm just going to remove that from my mat and you can see it just lifts right off of there. Now I've got a divider and I can flip it either way. I can take this sticker off that came with it. And I've got my divider all ready to go. It just needs to be labeled. And I'm going to finish doing these, but that's how easy that is. Very quick, very easy. Like I said, I will share my file. I may have to uh, edit, but it will be for sure posted on my uh, Facebook page, Expressions Craft Studio, in the group is where the links are. And I'll try to post it on the page, too. There's a page and a group. Um, you feel free to join, follow, like, whatever. And um, hope to see you again for another quick tip.